When do I not escape? Right, what do we got here? We got quite a bit. So I guess we'll just use pistols for now to uh, blast through everything. No, you don't, shit weasel. Don't approve of that one. Christ. All right, well, let's switch up to the jackhammer just because it's fun. Um, who's next, huh? There are a few of you. Good, I wanted to try out my new death machine. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> I do like this. This is going to be really friggin' fun. Need some new painkillers, though, please, or I'm going to insta-die all over this place. <laughs> Just jumped through the door there. I'm a little bit eager, apparently. Looks like we need a cut ode. You little bastard. Don't you fucking dare. Oh, well, you don't have a fucking sniper laser now, do you? What the hell was the difference? Come on. Ooh. Armory? The monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. And security land. I just used all my painkillers by accident. I only meant to use three. Oops. On screen, the so-called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap. Wait, what? Looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he'd pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. Hmm. So does that mean he, this was all a setup? But he's been helping us for so damn long. That would mean they've just got a ton of their own people killed for very spooky, sneaky purposes. I, I don't buy it. I think he is still on our side, or it just doesn't really make any sense, right? Unless it's a completely different faction. I mean, he still doesn't have to, like, fulfill his promises if we think he's dead. And, well, he gets the lady done a murder. Um, without really any worry, right? Because we've done it for him. Ow, Jesus Christ, is that a jackhammer? Don't you fucking dare use that against me. That's my new absolute monster gun. <laughs> I'm just picking up so much coal ammo as I go. Oh, you sneaky bastards. What made you think I was going into the elevator so much? Oh, and now you drop down. You're such assholes, aren't you? There we go. Got another bout of painkillers, though, if we need them. Am I using the elevator? No. It was just a dude throwing two grenades down. I love when the set pieces work. When, like, the little scripted uh, things actually happen and they look good. Because when they look good, they look so good, especially for the time. Like, this is an amazing game, and it gives you some serious adrenaline rush playing it when it's, uh... When it goes right, but unfortunately, just it's aged poorly in many areas. Well, let's not go that way. Let's instead pick up all of these painkillers first. Wonder if I can just jump over. Oh, I think I actually could have. Nah, just a tiny little nib stopping me there. All right, well, let's go ahead and pull out the deagles or something. That's gonna hurt. Maybe I can jump it. I can jump it. Oh, so all the low-hanging ones I don't particularly need to worry about? Good to know. I'll definitely make keep that in mind for the next time I fucking nearly get myself killed blasting it in front of my face. I'm wondering how the hell I was meant to do it without getting damaged. Hello, radio. And what is your answer to those saying that he's actually providing a service long overdue to the city? This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department. Why is no one reeling fucking Jim in? He's just fucking screeching at all the news people. Jesus, that is not exactly giving anyone much confidence, is it? Except me, because the police can't do shit against me. To be fair, the police haven't even really tried. Like, it's not the police who have been giving me trouble, is it? It's all the gangs and secret service, whatever the fuck's going on. These assholes who look like friggin' terrorists, but are sort of the opposite, I think, maybe. How much ammo have I got left in my coat? I thought I just picked up some more. Ah, uh, damn it, we really ain't got all that much. But it's still just my best weapon by far. Videotape on the desk? Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered I recognize Dawn, that taping her clients yeah. action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure the kinky sex was nowhere near. Oh damn! Sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in here. Oh, it all ties together. Isn't that adorable? 
Aww. But Alfred's like 60, 70, is it even still working down there? Maybe that's what makes it Wouldn't kick. It let me Just pray. flaccid slapping. What is this? Is that a record? I've taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high-rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress. Yeah, well, I'm so glad we have to rush in there, then. Jesus, I like how Max just knows he's gonna live now. Like, he's not even worried about that anymore. He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna take this just in case I need to blackmail anyone in the future. What an utter badass. Let's do this. We've even got more ammo now. I don't even know where we picked this up from. I love just having a constantly replenishing ammo supply from just, like, you know, just pick up more than you spent on the dudes you kill. Ah! No, you don't. Dick. Let's blast right through that. Who's next? Oh, we actually got a cutscene. Please don't crash. I hate when the cutscenes crash. What door's being busted? Oh, or key padded. I guess that's way less cool. Whatever. <laughs> I do love the slow mode, just watching them get riddled with bullets one last time. They look a little less weird when they've got masks on than just, you know, like the blatant sort of face download look at things like Max and all the uh, criminals from the early game. Hmm. There's an awful lot of stuff here, but it also definitely seems to be the wrong way. So, like. Huh. You giving me tons of different options? So we're about to find out. Wish I could go pick up his body or whatever, but oh well. We, I like how we got so many weapons on the fifth row that we can't even see the bottom of the Molotov. All right then. Well, let's hit the deck. Let's keep going as low as we can, because uh, it seems like there was nothing else really there anymore, which is a shame. Further down, and then this is just like the floor, the bottom area. What can we find here? I guess that's just a deagle? Those are blatantly painkillers. I don't know why I can't pick up the deagle. Maybe we just don't have enough. Um, oh, sorry, maybe we're at max or whatever. Yeah, you can get the fuck out of my way, thank you very much. That's all we can find here. Just like one little set of painkillers and an enemy! Enema. Enema. And an enema. And then... Fuck. Alright, we're back, and this time I've got a lot less painkillers for some reason. How exactly am I gonna do- I think I'm gonna have to jump it. What? There you go! And immediately hit the goddamn floor, because these guys, they ain't so friendly, and they're actually doing damage for once. Have a little save there, because that was very, very worrying. Are you Woden? No, I guess he's just a government agent who looks strangely like the dude's son or something. You think I'm able to jump that? You think I'm able to jump that? Hell yeah, I'm able to jump that! Hey, I did something cool! There you go! Ah, oh, wow, and it just saved me that tiny little bit of extra ammo, which is never a bad thing. How many nades have we got? Yeah, I'm just gonna bounce off the wall, because for some reason wasting a nade is, uh, probably the safest option here. It looks like I was about to just get my face pulled off if I shot it anywhere close by here. Please give me some more painkillers, man. Where the hell are they? Oh, chapter six, Byzantine Power Grid. Of revenge. Those dreams were always nightmares of coming close and then failing. Now I was close. I had a name. And <laughs> now I was failing. Cole Horn. I had nothing to lose. I mean, except your damn life. You're doing all right, to be fair. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Please survive! I don't know if not a single one of those bullets hit me! That was kind of- oh no, I think it did, because I'm doing a little bit of a hobble. Can I just walk right through? Can we get out of here? No, I can't! I'm so damn injured for such a pivotal part of the damn game! Please don't hurt me! Thank you, buddy! Woo! Ho ho ho! Jesus Christ! Weapons, please! Ammo! Anything! No? We've got 13 last rounds. Project Valhalla had not been the only thing the Inner Circle had been involved in. There were rows of cabinets full of files. The Serpentine Secret Society went back a long way, always pulling strings from the shadows. I couldn't say I was sorry, 
Woden's moving some Byzantine power game. Oh, power game. Membership Good. roster to one. The old man wanted me on cleanup duty. It was my mess too. Oh, he did it to become in power, I guess. Well, that makes sense. You're a smart old man, you kinky bastard. What well, can I not? Why can I not get through here? What am I? What am I looking for? Where's the other way out? I don't know. <laughs> okay, that is freaking awesome. In a game from 2001, you can do shit like that. That is very nice, son. Very, very nice. Ah! Can you stop ruining the moment, damn it? I just used all my ammo there. Let's, uh, let's not fuck up like that again, thank you. I think I just used all my ammo on that one little bookcase. Um, in which case... Right, hide. Grenade launcher. We have ten grenades. One. Two. Oh my god. Three! How many na- I can't believe I'm fucking up when I'm launching a grenade launcher at their fucking faces. I don't understand how you're still alive. I think I just blew myself up now. Fine, I'll throw a Molotov at you. Whatever you'd prefer. <laughs> Die! Save! Die again! At last! Jesus, you just took a hundred bullets on two fucking guys. Wow! And I hear move, move, move as well, so I feel like I should probably also get a fucking move on. Come on. Don't look back. Don't worry about the bullets chasing you. Everything's gonna be fine. Look at this little idiot. Of course everything's gonna be fine. He doesn't know how to fire a gun, apparently. Please tell me you have the Colt Commando, because I need some more Colt. Apparently not. What an arse. I mean, this dude blatantly does, which is nice, thanks to the extra 10. Oh, I just went from 13 rounds to 17 rounds, just like that. And we got some painkillers. My favorite type of killers. Except Max himself. What have we even got around? Hell, it really does just guide you down one particular path, doesn't it? Like, why even give me those other doors? What? Only one of them is uh, unlocked incredibly conveniently. There you go, just keep it moving, Max. Come on, jackhammer time. And also, we got more painkillers. How lovely. Give me that ammo. I really, really like the jackhammer. I should probably be using it more often. This is like one hell of a weapon. How fast does it fire? I should really test it out on some poor, un unsuspecting little idiot. And I believe we should have just found him. I thought I heard a dude up here. I didn't think we killed everyone up here anyway. Really? Come on. Well, that's how fast it fires anyway. A little bit less cool of a way to show it off, but still. We can just look forward to plugging the fucker's face with it. Excuse me. Oh, he was just walking through. He had no idea what the hell was going on. Poor little guy. He just wanted a little trip around. Thanks for the extra painkillers. Everyone is carrying them these days. It's lovely. Got 20 rounds in this thing, I guess. Some sniper ammo and the sniper itself, I guess, because we weren't carrying one anymore. Sure. I mean, let's just carry on. The press room, huh? Oh, this is one hell of a landscape for a war. Bring it on! Really? No one's going to come for me? I finally got a decent armory full of, like, tons and tons of pills and a decent amount of ammo, I say, literally running out as I said ammo. Uh, and you just no one wants to fight me anymore, no? We're done. We're done. We can all go home. It's, it's sleepy time. Whatever. I don't have anything long range anymore. So this is going to be scary because we're actually going to have to come face to face with dudes again. And completely miss, apparently. Several times. Jesus, man, go down. Oh, he looks all sleepy. It's all right, buddy. I'll sing you a little lullaby later. What do we got here? Ammo. Yes. Thank you very much, Colt. Although, let's have a little save. I think this dude just deserves... Oh, what the hell happened to my aim there? That dude does deserve my pistols, but not until this shithead has stopped chasing me. I didn't even realize you were there, my friend. Now, who's next? Look, 13 goddamn bullets, you piece of shit. Were you worth that? Of course you weren't. Now, we've been here. So where the hell am I going? Into here? 
Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I don't recognize this place. More stairs. When are we going up, though? Why the hell are we suddenly going down? I guess that's where we found out that her little apartment is, I think. But, uh, still seems a little strange. Really, I wish Max would talk just a little bit more. Have a little bit more chatter. Just to explain to you what the hell is actually happening. Excuse me, why did that open without me? Because of you! That would explain it. Thanks very much, shitwipe. Oh, we're back at the library. So why the hell are we going this way? I don't understand. Is this just our first time on the floor? What's... What's changed? Why are we now coming back? I genuinely don't understand what's different now. Except that there are just more enemies for some reason? Just gonna continue heading on down? CIA, Fine. FBI. You've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> sure have, buddy. Now give up! Ah! Jesus, Jackhammer, now! Thank you. Oh, that was rough. Okay, back down to... Same level elf took three levels of painkiller. Sorry, three different bottles of painkillers. That sucks ass. Now, what's this PowerPoint presentation? It's a little picture of her. A bit close to heaven. What even is Aesir? You still don't really know what they're doing. Or why they're doing it, which is probably more apt. <coughs> Take him down. Shoot to kill. Are you a boss? This. You look the exact same as, like, pretty much everyone else. But we have tons of ammo now for our jackhammer, so, uh... Let's get fucking blasting, shall we? And it doesn't even take very long to reload. What the hell was that weapon you were fi firing so fast? The Ingram, of course. Seemed even faster than the Ingram, though. That was kind of insane. That dude was a monster. Uh, da -da -da -da. No. No, you don't, you little shit. Time for everything to just slow down a little. There you go. But Really? Really, buddy? You lived? Fuck you. I just wanted to look cool, and you're not letting me... Is that everything? The dude was like, oh, shoot to kill. I'm a cool man. And then just dies. Really easily. What was the point in that section? That was like the easiest set piece in a while. Why make such a big deal out of it? Oh, whatever. I got like 30 rounds out of it. That's lovely. Hell, 40. Really moving up in the world today. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, tons more pills. Hell yeah. Finally doing okay again. I'm gonna take one more, so it only looks like we've stubbed our toes on the, uh... On the little picture of Max down at the bottom left. Chapter 7, nothing to lose! Mine wasn't the most original approach to the problem. It wasn't as if it hadn't all been done before. An eye for an eye, the first principle of revenge. Old as dirt, still going strong. The cardinal rule in going after someone with an intention to kill was not to make it personal. Which it almost always ended up being anyway. It did with me. I took my time, cruising around the city in the snow. There was no hurry. I knew what I had to do now. I took my time, thinking about it, building up the rage. When I was ready, I parked the stolen wheels at the front entrance of the Acer Corporation headquarters. Got out, got in, got cracking. I had a bullet with Nicole Horn's name on it. I had 10,000 bullets with the hag's name on them. She had ultra-high-tech security systems, enough mercenaries and weaponry to start World War III. There was no fear. I'm not surprised the amount of drugs you've taken, thin, buddy. No, I had crossed the threshold. This was her domain, sleek and sexy and soulless, all glass and steel. A place of color-coded security key cards, oh, metal sexy detectors, and glass surveillance and steel. systems. fridge cold as a gun colder than a walk-in fridge cold as a gun max you have a way with words don't you did we just get eight eight pills and all that ammo did it just throw it at me is the, is the game just being nice because i've never seen this much ammo in this thing but okay haven't seen this much ammo in this thing for friggin' ages. Right, we're gonna go bullet time immediately. And it's gonna be proper bullet time. It's not gonna be dodgy bullet time. As in, like, dodging bullet time. It's gonna be full-blown, I'm gonna fuck everyone up kind of bullet time. There we go. And then we're gonna dodge out the way as these dudes drop to the ground. Easy. 
Still only stubbed a toes so far. And they're all using engrams. That explains the extreme amount of damage in such a short amount of time. Oh, you're blowing up your own goddamn... Let's try that again. You're blowing up your own goddamn... Building? Still can't survive it. What the hell am I meant to do? Sniper? That should be the death of at least one of them. They're just gonna keep firing? Nice, calm the hell down. Are we gonna save? Nope. We'll line it up better each time. A little higher. A little lower. This is gonna be real hard, man. I'm almost gonna have to take pot shots every time. That's one down. No, not quite. Still, Jesus. There's no way I can aim it. You just gotta be really lucky. Like that one was so damn lucky. Was somewhat so damn close. Haha, <laughs> I was an inch away from the fucker's skull. Right. Couple of rounds and- Okay, we lifted up a tiny bit. Way too much. See how sensitive my mouse is? That was me moving a goddamn inch. Arrgh! Okay, I think we figured it out. We gotta just stay behind this pillar and use lovely, lovely sniper rifles. I know it works. I know it works, we just gotta be so, so precise with some really imprecise controls. Come on, come on now. Really? Really? Oh, that was so bubbly on his skull as I died. Come on! Oh, it's because I hadn't saved while I was behind the pillow. That would explain quite a bit. Please hit. I don't even know if that hit. It doesn't even matter if it hit, because it still friggin' kills me. Okay, quick save. Oh, nowhere even close. Wonder if I can get them to hit each other. How is this the hardest part of the entire game? Just dodging a couple of idiots firing rockets? Grenades? What even is it? One down. One down. We did it. Just take all the pills you need, shithead. Hey, <laughs> I think I'm done. No, he just immediately starts firing again. Oh, but he just hits the fucking... Ha! How long have you just been stuck hitting that thing? Perfect, that's gotta be a headshot, right? There you go, now to never use the sniper again, because it's like the worst weapon in the game. Huh. I mean, it does damage, but like, it's so situational. And even then it sucks, like what the hell was I meant to do with it there? Maybe if I just turned my mouse sensitivity down a bit we would have been fine. But who's got time for that, you know? Oh, Thank fuck I quick saved after, I didn't even know if I had, that's why I panicked so much there. Yes, that's my panic noise, but uh, that's panic. I didn't ejaculate, I promise. Much! Mm -hmm. Stay back, stay back Max, we can do this! I don't care how many goons you got, Nicole, or whatever the fuck your name was. Not a very scary name, is it? No one's scared of a Nicole. Here we go. Aw, cool little automatic doors. Isn't that delicious, Nicole? Okay, what do, I, what do I do about this? Didn't exactly feel like we were gonna be able to jump that one. I don't know. Prick. Oh, prick. 
Hey, hey, it worked! See, just insulting them works every now and then. Right, I wanted to waste a grenade to blow up the, uh, the mines there, because somehow it's always the safest way. Who cares about grenades? And there we go. <sighs> we actually cleared this area. We're doing it. We're actually making our way into our building. Hell, I don't even know why she was so... I don't know, it doesn't really include the sections where we travel from place to place, right? I, I assume her building wasn't the exact fucking same building as, uh, as the other crew or whatever the fuck we were dealing with. Oh. When were- when was- Oh, you're the you're the rocket dudes! I was wondering why you were dead. I can't even pick up your gun. What is it? It's a grenade launcher. It's just a regular grenade launcher and they were doing that much friggin' damage. I do not approve, you little shit. Never again! Now how high can this building possibly be? We've already traveled up like a good three, four floors, right? Let's have a quick little, uh, check out over here. Ooh, fuck. I don't think this is possible. Good start. I bet- I bet I can do it. If that fucker just killed me there, I would've cried. Damn it! Alright, well I'm now starting to think that that's the right way, so I'm gonna check out whether- Oh, it is definitely the right way, because that just leads to there, because that's where I came from, you idiot me! Alright, time for some, uh, some laser shit. Quick save after every little laser. Because I am a poisson. Right, oh, fuck me. You do get lower than that, don't you? Or maybe I just... Maybe I gotta go under you. There you go. Gonna have a couple of little heals. We're gonna quick save again. Gonna do a little jump. Yeah, I think that's one I've gotta go under. That was the issue. There you go. And we've done it! We are absolutely James Bond material now. Although I don't think any of his lasers are visible when he gets through them, but whatever. Oh man. We're doing so damn well, we're just crushing every kind of opposition they can throw. Which isn't very much, surprisingly. Like, it's normally a very small amount of dudes at one time, anyway. Mona. Hey! Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. I thought you got tortured to death. It will be a cold day in hell before I let a narc cop stop me. Miss Sachs, do your job. No! Relax, Max. You're a nice guy. I don't kill nice guys. You're not bad yourself. It was different when Horn wanted Punchinello dead. To cut her ties to the Mafia, he deserved to die. The same goes with her. She's the bad guy here. Her sister was whispering to her in my favor. I knew the appetites of ghosts intimately. They hungered for revenge. Is that her getting shot in the head? Oh, come on! In slow motion. She was a nice girl. Not really a stone cold killer. And now she was stone cold dead. That religious fanatics or loyal samurai horns private army was coming at me. Max Payne located. <laughs> oh, I've never heard one talk like that. Isn't that adorable? Uh, it didn't even give me time to mourn my. Uh oh. I'll see you guys soon, for fuck's sake. I didn't expect that. And everyone's got a damn bullet in their head. It's like it's going out of goddamn fashion. There you go. Well, that felt pretty goddamn good. But there are only three of you. Three of you took down Mona, who might have been a really interesting character. Oh, I didn't even get to do my elevator ride. Didn't even notice. Well, then we go, I guess. When the elevator came back down. Mona was gone. There was a lot of blood, but no body. Something clicked for the final time. My mind had never been so clear. As if somewhere high above, the storm clouds were already gone. Cold stars blazing from the black skies. You're a very scary man, Max Payne. Well, down we go, I guess. No more like, uh, what the fuck? What, what's happened here? 
Oh, shit! Well, that's gonna be horrible. Actually, it doesn't look like any of them are moving. That's gonna be fine. Hmm. I wonder if Max is, like, um, aware he was a video game character, if that was just him getting real meta. Also, what? Excuse me? Am I meant to shoot at the bombs first? I thought I was just meant to, like, avoid little areas. How did anyone manage to put this- put these up here? In, like, the five seconds the elevator, like, had left. How does that make any goddamn sense? I don't know, and I also don't know how it's not knocking my entire elevator back down the shaft with every explosion. But if the shaft is on my side, I'll take any shaft I can get. Get me up, guys. Are we good? We're, like, right at the top of the building. This has to be it, right? This has to be where she's residing. I've already forgotten her name other than Nicole. But sometimes that's all you need. I don't know what I mean by that, but we're gonna roll with it. I like how these guys are still just happy to have casual conversations. Despite knowing like I'm in their building and could come and murder them at any moment. They're still just having casual conversations in the moments when I'm not there. I'd love to listen to them, but I know that if you make one move, like, they're gonna figure out where you are. And it's a shame. I'd like to listen to it. They probably put a lot of work into them. Remedy games have so many lovely little details. Even right back where it began by the looks of things. Well, I'm sure I'd be able to tell now in what I think is towards the end of the game, right? Like, this feels like this is gonna be the last big thing. No one- none of the little gangsters we killed had anywhere near as much effort put, put into, like, their, um, development. So I guess that's what we gotta assume. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I didn't want to be without painkillers there. Oh, I'm really enjoying the game again. Which was difficult for a little while after we got those, um, those bugs, but now? Now I'm feeling good. Why did that do nothing? I'm almost definitely meant to do this, right? Access to the main frame, and there be a Whoa! No, no, no! That was really bad. That was really terrible. Alright, well, let's do that exact same thing. Was there really only one of you in here? I thought there were way more. I actually struggled with it. Didn't realize that we only I lifted that off last time. To the main frame. From there, I'd be able to override the security locks and get to her office. Come on, then. And why do you know how to... Uh, why does he know how to override anything? You're not a leap hacksaw boy, are you? Whatever, let's go ahead and uh, grab all of that. Let's take a little uh, quick save right here. In fact, let's quick save after. Because we know they show up when we, like, do that. And it doesn't quite let you climb things properly. I was trying to get behind cover there, but it just wouldn't quite work for me. Whatever, let's put in as many bullets as we can. Oh, good. Slow motion reload. I'm sure that'll scare them. At least they're too stupid to hit me from here. And now let's dive around the Oh, really? You really fucked that up for me, didn't you, buddy? Please don't kill me. Oh, thank you. That would have been horrible. All of that and then I just die. He kind of looked like he enjoyed it, though. He had, like, happy anime eyes. Alright, let's go ahead and reload. And, well... I think this is it, guys. Hopefully this time there'll be a few less uh, death traps in the elevator shaft, right? What the hell's going on? Oh! 